Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 34th SQL question uh, from lead code uh, 50 uh, SQL entry question. So they have given a table called products where we have to find out uh, a price of a product at a given date. So this is one of the very interesting problem. Uh, it can be solved in very many, many ways. Um, so what exactly it says is uh, write a solution to find the price of all products on this day, on given date. Assume the price of all products before uh, any change is 10. So means in this context, let's say there are three, one, two, there are three products, right? There are only three products. So the default price for all of the products is 10, uh, the starting price. And then it could change uh, one day, it could change, and so second day it may not change, and third day again the product value could change. So on a particular day, let's say you started, uh, this, this says uh, 2019, uh, uh, August 16, 2019, they want to check the price of all the products. So imagine they started uh, a campaigning uh, or they started selling a product so from um, 1st Jan 2019 and they wanted to and the product's price could change at, at different dates based on based on the uh, requirement based on the demand they increase they decrease whatever whatever could happen so or maybe after 8 months they want to see the price of different different products so on august 16 2019 they want to see the products so the starting point of all the products is 10 but they'll change during this eight months, they've changed the price, they increase, decrease, whatever could happen. So that's what they're asking on this day, what's the price? Uh, if the price is not changed, uh, it will remain same as 10, right? So let's take an example, um, product one, it uh, on, on August 14, the price was, initially imagine it was, it was 10, but on, for the same product, for all the products, initial value is 10. On August 40, the price got changed to 20. Okay, this is the this is the price of new price for the product uh, one, which is 20. Uh, for product two, the initial price is 10, and again on August 14, the for product two, the price got changed to 50. And for the product one, again on 50 next day, uh, it got changed. Initially it was 10 for product one. Now it got changed to 20. Oh, 14th it got changed to 20 and uh, on on 15th august it got uh, uh, 15th august it got changed to 30 same product so the new price for the product one is 30 fair enough so again for the same product id 1 16th that is what they are asking us to predict uh, to print not predict to, to print all all the values on 16 the new price for the same product is 35 so what we have to print is see the product for the product one it started with 10 it changed to 20 it changed to 30 now 35 on this date whatever the price i had for all the products i have to print on this date so for one that is what they are asking us one it was 10 20 for product one the price was 10 20 30 35 35 is what we have to print because that is what they are asking us to print on second uh, for the second product on the same for the same um, on the same day for the second product the price on this day was uh, uh, till on this day uh, the product product could the for previous day could be any anything but on that day the price was on that day till that date the price was for product 2 was 50 however it got changed on the 17 it got changed 17 the product price for uh, 2 got changed they don't need this. this this is next day but on 16th they they need what is that product price uh, product price for product 2 so you have to consider this not this and for product 3 the price on 18th it is 20 uh, but they we need what is the price on this day so because there is no they haven't changed any 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 price till 16 so we have to assume that because it's a 10, so we have to assume it's 10. So that is the reason if you see here 10 for 3, uh, 250, which is which is what it is. We are not considering this price. So I, I hope you understood the problem. So this problem is divided into two parts. One, where you will capture the recent recent new price, recent new price for all the products, which which encountered on this day, all the products. In this context, one and two, you check the recent price for one and two. Recent price is maximum price. Uh, sorry, no, not maximum price, the recent price. It could increase or decrease. It could happen anything. Uh, recent price, we have to, how do I get the recent price? We just have to go by order by date. 
order by date we have to just uh, check for each product how do i do that you can i can just use group by and then take a group by on each product id uh, and uh, take the maximum date and then from maximum date what is the price we can we can just do this is one way of doing this is half of the problem solved this is one way of doing we can also use something like a rank uh, dense rank uh, uh, or or clause that is what i'm going to explain it's one of the very important concept so using rank and or clause what i'll do is i'll rank all of the func uh, all of these values by product id and order by change it whichever is having having a, 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 the recent one recent rank the highest rank i'll take that uh, corresponding price and then i'll print it this is one of the problem solved the second problem is once i have the half of the problem solved and then i'll i'll just check for all of these remaining products remaining products which are which are not here remaining products which are on after 17 which are not part of this i'll take the i'll mark them as a 10 so for 3 i'll mark them as a 10 that's how i solve so let's write it i'll also explain what exactly the difference between rank and dense rank and what exactly or clause i have the urls but let's solve the uh, let's solve the problem step by step so let's use so what I, what i'm trying to say is i'll, I'll I, I use something like a uh, rank and dense rank there are there are many concepts i'll i'll simply use uh, rank function so i'll select all the um, all the columns which which i do this uh, and then i use something like a rank rank uh, function rank this is very important concept i'll explain you or uh, partition by partition is nothing but if you uh, i'm sure we have done all of the uh, you, i'm sure you know about uh, group by similar to that similar to group by partition by product id it's like a group by this right for each of for each of the uh, each of the uh, product id i'll i'll just say order by order by change it so what i'm doing is i'm just ranking i'm just ranking for each of the product for each other product for this it will be ranked as maybe let's say one for the same product i'll rank as a two for the same product i'll rank this as a three by product wise okay r as a, i'll just mention as r from from this table so the, what this will give me is what this will give me is this will give me the rank for each other product so whichever is having the highest rank I'll take the corresponding price, simple as that, right? So if I if I simply take the price, okay. So if you see here, let's let's understand what exactly the rank is giving us. So it, it is just partitioned by nothing but group by for each of these. So it will segregate, it will rank uh, based on the product. So if you see here, product one, first date, first price was 20, which is this, second price was 30, third price was 35. So whoever is having the highest rank, I'll take that date because it's order by date. It is going ascending by. I just have to take rank of three. Rank of three is nothing but price. So you just take the rank of three price. Uh, but it is ranking for all the products, right? So you we for if you see here, for two, it is ranking, and three it is only one. It is giving this. Uh, but however, we need a, all of the information before before where. Okay, so here if I see, the, the, I can have a 10 values for the same products, right? 10 values for the same products. Uh, then there will be 10 rank. And then product two has only, maybe let's say five. There will be five rank. Now, how do I know the max? So it will become, it will become difficult, right? How do I see, I have to take the one which is having the maximum, maximum date, right? Maximum rank, which is nothing but the recent date. So I'm ranking based on the recent date, right? So I'm group by grouping by partition by which is product ID for each basically it's partition by you just have to part differentiate and order by order by I'm just ranking uh, by date right so that's what I am doing right now so here if you see here what 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 I am trying to say is this is highest rank for this is two uh, highest rank for this is uh, sorry this for this is three and this is for two uh, product two and this is one but how do I know I, I, I can't have a fixed value right so instead of that what I'll do is I'll just reverse the order i'll just reverse the order so i'll just say descending order i just want to take descending order which gives me you know whichever is having the highest rank 
I will I will just take that uh, I'll just descending order which gives me whichever is having rank one for each other products wherever there is a rank one for this rank one rank one I'll just take these ranks so which gives me half of the problem so I'll have to also where where uh, I can just mention change date change date less than or equal to so this is the date they are asking us to do so I'll just mention so this gives me all the products the recent price where change it what's the problem from okay let's run this all right okay so why is this giving us error is it string yeah yes it is string date right it is date all right so half of the problem is solved where we are getting all the values of the product so i just have to take for two if you see here two i got one rank one i just have to say wherever there is a rank one you just take it uh, fair enough for two i got the uh, 50 as this and for three uh, for one i got 35 so i just have to take a rank one wherever there is a rank one i will get all the problem so this is half of the problem is done so what i'll do is i'll i'll select i'll what i do is i'll just simply create common expression table common expression basically i'll, I'll create this as a uh, rank cpe i'll keep this in a temporary table temporary table uh, common uh, common table expression so which is nothing but cte i'll keep this information in a temporary table okay so as all right so i can just simply select select add uh, now what i have to do is this is half of the problem solved right so half of the problem is solved now what i have to do is i just have to uh, select from this uh, all, all the tables now this this i'll i'll just I'll, what i do is this gives me this gives me all the products before this date right the changed values now what i have to do is another problem which where i will i'll just select select product id select product id from this table uh, i'll just say product id what all they need they need price product id price from from this city city where r equals to 1 union union this gives me this gives me half of the half of the problem right this solves half the problem now i have to select the products which are which which are which are uh, before this right the 10 value value is 10 this got a product for product 3 the value is changed however they we need the product price before this date right i mean on this date the value for product 3 is changed uh, on the 18th but on this day the price is 10 so what i have to do is i just have to union it union union select i'll simply select product id product id and 10 10 as price 10 as price from from this product same table from product same table where i'll select all the products except the products which are not here i'll i'll select product id product id where product id not in not in select 
product ID from this city. So this gives me this gives me all the all the products with uh, with with before this what is the price um, and I just want to select three I ha I need a three as well right which gives me which which comes from uh, as part of this so three is not here three will not come here uh, but three is there in the product table three is there in the product table that's where I I select from the product table I give that value as a ten for that um, and and then I'll just say product ID not in for all of these. So this solves the second half of the problem. Let's submit. This is a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy problem. Uh, what is column price? Okay, uh, ten as column price unknown. All right. Let's see this. All right, this was accepted. Uh, let's submit this. This is a little lengthier problem, uh, but that says it is little uh, tough as well. It's a medium problem. It got accepted. Now let's understand what is rank and what is dense rank. So here, if you see, I'll, I'll have a very good example. So here you have rank, dense rank, row number, the different uh, you know examples you can read about. So rank, what rank is, is if you see here, uh, rank partition by department. So you want to know uh, the maximum salary, maximum salary, uh, and you want to rank the maximum salary by department. If you see here, sociology, the department for uh, employee ID for this department, they want to rank the salaries. So here, if you see here for this department, the maximum salary is this they have ranked one and so on and so forth so the difference comes here a rank versus dense rank so if if the number is even right if the number is if you see here for these all of these if number is even right if the number is equal for for all of these in in rank you you will get all all of the values are same but once the number crosses once the number changes right so you will get for from four five six they got skipped because the three values are same four it is fine it's supposed to be five. Uh, it's supposed to be six. However, because the numbers are even, the numbers are a tie. There is a tie here. That's why it has skipped, and it will skip that five, six, and it start from seven. This is what the rank does. However, dense rank doesn't do that. Dense rank, basically, uh, it, even if it is a tie, it gives all the equal number because they are uh, same number. But next time when the, you find a new value, it gives starts from the next value, not the. It doesn't skip any values. This is what the difference between dense rank and rank. This is one of the fixed uh, common entry questions. Um, uh, you know, when you are de dealing with SQL, when you are attending any SQL questions, so rank, rank and dense rank, you will have either verbally they'll ask or they ask you to run code. This is a very good example. So I'll I'll put the URL in the description. And I also explained about um, over clause in my one my previous example, consecutive number example. Here it's one of the best article I found. Uh, with OR clause, you can you can use all of these functions. The difference between OR uh, along with along with uh, you know OR clause OR is a, a window function, window based function. You can use like a, instead of group by, you can use this function, but it gives more flexibility. Along with uh, group by, will just aggregate the data and then uh, and and then gives you gives you the data and then you have to join the aggregated data back to the main table. You you can avoid that using if you are using uh, OR clause. However, again, it has own its its own uh, pros and cons. So if you see here, if you see the look at the picture, you will find lots of functions. We have used rank. We have used uh, dense rank. We can also use dense rank for for the, for the same problem. It doesn't matter because uh, even if the tie number, we just need the maximum number which will come anyway. We are we we are uh, descending uh, in a in a uh, uh, for for our example uh, by date. So order uh, order by date and descending order. So you it will come in a rank. So uh, dense rank or rank doesn't matter in our problem. Even if I use dense rank, it will accept. Uh, but there is a difference. You understood. I I hope we also solved a lead uh, lead and lag in in the previous uh, consecutive numbers. I'll put a uh, you can you can refer in 33 problem 33 problem which we solved in in the same series. So it's very good. Uh, we'll also solve this problem same problem 
about lead in uh, over partition same in in this in this uh, problem um, so that's all i just want to tell uh, thank you for watching uh, see you in the next video